Yeah. I agree with that. Plus, they'll pay for college too. Well, no, not if I go for go with uh, college then. Oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah. 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 Well, no, I'm going into college for two years and then going into military. Okay. And then going back, going back to college for another two years yeah. after I have a 15 year, 15 year career in the military. Awesome. And then I go to college for being a, a manager or not a manager, a business owner. Then I'm gonna start my own business. Okay. All right. Uh, today we're gonna talk about the central tendencies today. So I would like you to have your notes out, please. I'm gonna. Wait, where's Sam? He went to the office. Why? I don't think he was doing that well. So. All right. Um, so central tendencies. Um, so if we have this, uh, if we have these out, so make make sure you have your notes. I'm gonna check your notes today. I'm not feeling good. Um, so, uh, you didn't get a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so central tendencies. Um, uh, what these are? This is the likelihood. So the the likelihood um, or the the the, the potential. Maybe I'll put that. The potential for a particular number to happen. Potential for a particular outcome. Maybe I'll put it that way. It's not the likelihood, it's the potential for a particular outcome. I have the third, third best record for the bullet. Nice. So, um, for for central tendencies, there is three types. And I'm going to actually put them on the board here. The first one is called the mean. That's actually the one we've been working on the last couple days in here. So, let's talk about what the mean is. The mean is an average. We talked about this, I think it was on Tuesday we did averages. We talked about them. We played the game with dice and, and cards. Uh, cards isn't the greatest game to play with averages, but... That would be a good gambler. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We basically talked about some of those, uh, those, uh, those casino-type games, right? Um, the mean or average is when you when you add all the numbers up, you add the entries. So you add up all the entries together, so maybe you had you know sixes and sevens and elevens and nines and whatever the numbers were, twelve. You add up all the entries and then you divide by the number of entries. So you divide by how many entries are in there, so how many games you're playing, and this will be the average. So that that's what we're doing. Okay, but we're still dealing with that today. So that's called a mean. Um, it's just an average. Now the other type of central tendencies, I'm going to put them up here. The second one is called a median. A median is a is a big fancy word for middle. So let's put the median here. So like a median in a road is the middle of the road. Okay, it's the middle number, the middle digit. If the numbers are placed are placed in numerical order. And numerical, oops, just numerical, right? numerical order. Okay, that's a median. Okay, so um, I'm gonna give you an example of a median here in a second. We'll do a mean, a median, and we're gonna do a mode here in a minute. But you put all the numbers back to back to back in order, least to greatest, and you find what was the middle number in that list. It's the middle digit. What in the is list. Sen what, what's the thing in your sen central tendencies? Central tendencies? Mean? Median? Oh, they're right here. They're in the middle portion. Okay, mode is the, the next one. The mode is the number that happens the most. So I'm going to put this over here. So, mode, the digit that repeats the most. Most people believe that, you know, when you're doing a central tendency, you're trying to predict the likelihood of something occurring, you should look at if a certain number keeps coming up over and over and over. Maybe not the perfect middle number, but if a number keeps happening over and over and over, that's maybe the best likelihood of a particular outcome, okay? Um, the likelihood of it happening, the potential for it to happen. Okay, but we are going to be talking about the average. What would be the middle number? Okay, um, so I'm going to I'm going to talk about that. We're going to do an example of an average. See what do you got? So I'm going to get in the fight. No. Officer Francis is here. No. Hi, Officer Francis. Hey, 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 hey! You're in class right now. You know, you don't my windows. Those are going to lock. All right. So now.
let's do an example of let's do an example of the mean, median, and mode. So here's what I like to do. I like to write these numbers down on the list, and you'll probably need a calculator today. I'll hand them out here in a minute, but I like to write these numbers down. So let's say we're playing game, and these are the scores in the game. 25, 23, 29, 21, 30, uh, 22, 25, 26, 24. 25. Okay. 25 mode. Okay, so, all right, good. So these are my, this is my list. You can already figure out that when we're talking about mean, median, mode, mode, 25 was the one that happened the most. This is the most oh, occurring. I, okay. I don't want to remember this. Okay. Come meet my mom. See you there. What was that? Mean, mean, medium, mode, MMM? Yeah. Yeah. So the three M's. Most starts with the letter MO. Mode starts with MO. That's how I remember it. The number that happened the most. Now, is that the best number for the list? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see, the, the, we'll see the list here in a minute. We'll actually go through the numbers, see if that's actually the middle number, the likelihood of it occurring again. Okay? But, let me give you some calculators here. Sam gets back. We'll do a calculator with him. I caught a cat. So, here you go. Mean, median, mode, MMM. Here you go. I caught okay. a cat. No. All right. So, okay. So, let's do the mean now. Okay, the mean. Okay, the mean is the average. So we, what we need to do on these numbers, I would like you to, to add these numbers up. So you're going to add these numbers up, blah, 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 blah. Okay, get down to the 24. And then what are we going to divide by to find the average? Is that off the surface? I don't know. I don't care. Let's focus on that. I don't care. So, okay, so we add them up. What are we going to divide by in this case? What number am I going to divide by? Uh, 24. 25. 25. 23. 29. Don't guess. What does my formula say? Mm -hmm. Add the entries. What do we divide by? Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. Why 9? You're right. Because there's a amount of numbers in the end. Numbers. So that's what you have to divide by. You have to divide by how many entries there were. So let's do the math. Let's see what you guys come up with. Again, you should be writing these down in your notes, these, these examples. 30 this, 22 this, 25 this, 23 this, 24 divide by 9. You get 209. Yeah? No? No. Do you divide or do you just subtract? I divided. Did you figure out the answer before you divide it? Uh, what was the top number? I don't know. So it's 209, and you divide it by 9. No. 31.22. 2, 3.22222222. So I got my them all up. I got a 225. Uh -huh. In fact, I'm going to double check. 25, 23, 29, 21. 30, 22, 25, 26, and 24. That's, that's what I got too. That's a 225. And then you divide by 9. Yeah, that's 25. 25. So, so that, this is the mean number for what the likelihood of the next game was going to be. Now, will it be the perfect number? No. Now, this is random. This number didn't have to match that one. They're just, they're independent of each other. This one was just the number that happened the most. So right now, 25 seems like the best likelihood of the event occurring. The, the last number is the median. The median now, what we need to do is we need to write down the numbers from least to greatest, and we need to uh, figure out which number is the middle number. So what's the smallest number up here? 21. 21. Okay, next number? 23. Uh, 22. 23. 23. 24. 25. 25. 25. 30. 25. 30. Uh, we have 26. 29. Is that all 9? Yes. Yeah, that's all 9. Now, for this, hi. Hey, you want to help us out and, like, you have, like, a protractor or something that we can make, like, a pretty, like, fairly large circle? Oh, did you get another pin? 
Oh, yeah. oh, wait, thanks. Oh, <laughs> I'll bring it back to you, Karen. No. Bye, ladies. All right. Bye. So, so we put all the numbers. Lee Scarce noticed. I put all the repeating numbers. If you didn't, I put all the repeating numbers. And what you do to figure out which one is the median, you cross them out from back to front, right? So those two are gone. These two are gone. These two are gone. I'm going two. I'm going one for one. And we get to here, and this is the middle number. Now, if your number, let's say you, instead of having nine entries, let's say you had 10 entries, now you have to find, figure out the number that's in between those two. So what I mean by that, if you're doing the median, so let me do an example here. Let's say we're doing an example here of a median. We're doing an example of this. Again, I want to see this in your notes today. So hopefully you're putting these in your notes, these two examples. We're going to do an example of a median now, where the median may not be the perfect number. All right. I'm sorry. I'm All right. Sorry, my guy. So let's say we have four numbers here. Let's go one, a four, a twelve, and a fifteen. Okay. So when we're doing when we're doing this problem, okay. So when we're doing this problem, this problem doesn't have a mode. Mode doesn't apply. The numbers didn't repeat. Non-applicable, right? Now. There's no mode. Numbers didn't repeat. Um, a mean. We can find a mean on this problem. Mean is where you add the numbers together, add the numbers together, 1, 4, 12, 25, um, which is, what is this, 9, 10, 22, and we're going to divide by 4 because there's 4 entries. 22 divided by 4 is? 22 divided by 4 is almost 5, isn't it? Let's play. 22 divided by 4. That's nearly 5, 5.5. Okay. Alright, so 5.5, so this is the average number, that's the mean, average, we add them up, divide by how many entries there were. Now, the median is the new one, right? This is the one that I want to talk about. This problem, when you put them least to greatest, I actually have them in order. There wasn't a perfect middle number when you start crossing them out, right? I cross out the back front, and then I cross out these two. There wasn't a middle number. You have to find what is the perfect number that's in between 4 and 12. What number is perfectly in between them? Six. Well, if we, if we count up, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eight. Eight is the perfect middle. It's the perfect blend. There's three numbers, three numbers, with the eight in the middle. That is your median number. The median number can oh, actually be a number no. that's not even on the list in the first place. That's the number that's perfectly in between these two. A lot of people don't know that. It could be a decimal. But here's the trick. How you actually do it, how you find the median really fast, if, if you have an even number of entries, just add these two and divide by two. That'll find the number in the middle. You're actually going to find the average of these two, if, if it was the middle. So again, how I did that, it was 4 plus 12 divided by 2, if your number doesn't have a middle. Okay, now, here's my question to you. Do you want another example, or do you think you can handle this if I give you some more problems with averages? All I want is average. I don't want mode, and I don't want medians. I just want the mean today, this one. You add up all the entries, divide by four. Do you think you can handle that if I give you a calculator? Perfect. All right. So, here's your homework today. And you have the rest of class today to work. Now, let's talk about when this homework is due here in a minute. But here's your homework. It is page 28. One through eight. Exercise B. So eight problems. Okay. All you're doing is you're finding average, not mode, not medians, just an average. This is the pro these are the problems. Now, due date. Friday. Tomorrow. Or due tomorrow. This is the rare chance I don't do this very often. It is due tomorrow, September twenty second. 
The only reason I'm doing that is that I don't like to put homework over weekend like that. I have a hot date tomorrow. Well, there you go. So, so you can get your math done today, and you can be done. It's average. I think you guys can easily get this done in the 20 minutes I'm giving you. Okay? I have a hot date with my girlfriend. All right. So, the rest of the time is yours. Make sure you have your books out and whatnot. I'm going to walk around. I'm going to check your notes. Make sure you have these problems written down. So, if you haven't written down these three examples, or these, these two examples we've done, you should probably get them right now. Uh.